Patrick Brown Autobiography. Hi, my name is Patrick Brown. I am named after my dad's friend. My middle name is Frank. Frank Brown is my granddad. I am 11 years old with blonde hair and big blue eyes. I was born on Saturday the 20th, February 2010. Crans Falls Road, Tauranga. I have two sets of grandparents, Nana and Papa Morrison and Nana and Granddad Brown. I am the eldest. My two younger brothers are Ben, aged nine, and Leo, who is six, nearly seven. My parents, siblings, and I live on a kiwi fruit orchard. My dad is a beekeeper. Nana and Granddad Brown are apiarists too. My family really likes motocross. My brothers are quite good at racing. Sometimes they race through the house too, but it's good. But it's good they don't do that on their motorbikes. I enjoy buggy rides and being out and about. I like travelling at speed. I find it relaxing and exhilarating all in one. My parents were excited to have a healthy baby, but unfortunately things didn't go to plan. Once I was born, I spent a lot of time in the hospital. I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which means I struggle with muscle movement for walking, talking and picking up things. It takes a whole lot of effort for my brain to tell my arms and legs how and where to move. It's like trying to move a spoon on the table by just looking at it. If it moves, chances are you did a lot of concentration. I have a big medical support team around me, speech therapists, physiotherapists, dietitians, doctors and carers. I have goals like holding my head up and reaching for things. This might not seem much to you, but this takes a lot of effort for me. My eyesight isn't flash. I do enjoy seeing friendly faces close up and sometimes I'll attract someone or something across the room, especially if it shimmers and glows. My favourite colours are yellow, orange and red. I have got good hearing and I am a very good listener. I can take in the emotions around me. If someone is grumpy, I get grumpy. If the other person gets grumpy because I'm grumpy and it becomes a bad cycle. But it also goes the other way if others are happy. I'm happy too. There are different degrees of cerebral palsy. Some people may only have a mild limp or a weak arm that is barely noticeable. Others can be more severely disabled as it affects the whole body. This can occur by being deprived of oxygen at birth or from a brain injury. Do you know the cross motor function scale GMFCS is used to measure mobility and movement. I am GMFCS level 5. This means I need the most help to move. I guess some of you need your parents to remind you to brush your hair or your teeth. I need someone to do this for me as I don't want to go to school scruffy with bad breath. Do you know that every three days a a baby is born in New Zealand with cerebral palsy and 7 million people with cerebral palsy worldwide. Cerebral palsy is the most common physical disability in childhood. I went to Tauranga Play Centre and Country Kids Daycare. I went to TSS at Tauranga Special School from year 1 to 4. I started at Tauranga School as a year 5 and now I am a year 7 full poppy. Starting at Tauranga School was one of my life's highlights. It was a bit scary starting. I didn't know anyone in my class. Ben was in a different room and Leo hadn't started school then. Adults were worried. I would disturb class learning as I can cry loudly when upset. I love going to school. I have classmates that read and talk to me. I enjoy school so much I spend a lot of time laughing and singing. Other school highlights are doing art, music and working alongside peers. I really enjoyed going on the beach trip with friends from room 13 and I am looking forward to going to the Tall Poppy School Camp. I have moved house three times, once from McLaren Falls Road to Jensen Road and then to the house next door. 
My new home has a long ceiling hoist with junctions. It's like a train track on the ceiling. I am helped into a sling and attached to the hoist to move about the house. I like being in it. It's like being in a swing. I also have a mobile hoist at home and at school. I enjoy being in my standing frame too. It gives me the feeling of being tall. I have two wheelchairs, one for home that lifts up and down to fit under tables and I use one for school. It has a power pack so I can get really fast across the school field. I also have a chair that's a type of bicycle and lots of other aids. Some I don't know what they are called. There are some positive positives with cerebral palsy like being able to go riding at the RDA and when I poke my tongue out at the school principal I don't get in trouble. Mrs Rose has a unique singing voice just for me. I really enjoy it. She makes me laugh. There's a lot of famous people with cerebral palsy. Christopher Nolan is an Irish, po Irish poet who is unable to speak and virtually unable to move voluntarily. He uses his head as a point to his height. Christy Brown, not related as far as I know, used his left foot to write and paint. He wrote his autobiography, the autobiography, not made into a movie. RJ Mitty is an actor and model that used leg braces and crutches most of his childhood. I have a family who loves me and with the help of my medical team, teachers and school friends, encouragement and determination, dreams and goals, however small are possible, I am happy. What's next? Find a college where I can continue to be well supported, to be myself and be part, be part of life with others.